Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Tuesday the 15th of October. The local media headlines today. Well, you can't blame businesses and local councils from outside Cornwall for trying, despite County Hall's claim to self-government wanting nothing to do with combined authorities or anything else from east of the River Tamar, the Great South West Partnership is coming to Truro in an only slightly awkward attempt to make friends. As courtships go, this one is likely to be long and frustrating. Cornwall's claim that County Hall should be treated as a seat of government equivalent to Scotland or Wales means we are currently missing out on the benefits of devolution. Meanwhile, a County Hall proposal to give Truro City a 250-year lease on the publicly owned new ground at Langarth comes before a scrutiny committee today. I wonder if any of the members are rugby fans. There was a very nasty accident close to Mullion School yesterday involving one of the school buses. Cornwall's Labour MPs might find out tomorrow if any has been successful in getting on any of Parliament's select committees. Competition for places is particularly acute on the Labour benches and it turns out that Cornwall Council spends about £50 a day to advertise on Facebook. What exactly is it they're trying to sell? Meanwhile, the BBC warned that County Hall's finances are in a bit of a pickle with the sixth highest funding gap in the country. I'm sure the council's new finance wizard will soon have it all sorted out, although all eyes are on the 30th of October budget. The Falmouth Packet ran live coverage of that Mullion school bus accident. Greatest Hits Radio had the sort of weather story which could have been a bit more specific. And finally, Cornwall Live has the sort of Strictly story that is bound to set its readers' pulses racing. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.